Just like every lock's got to have a key. Every river goes looking for the sea. And when you plant a seed, it reaches for the sky. It's just the way it is. Nobody wonders why. Like coffee needs a cup. You know that it ain't much good without it. We were meant to be together. No doubt about it. To me, CMO is a thinking sport, as the website says. Um, I like it because it um, has the rider go out and pay attention to their environment, look at the trees, see if they can understand the description that people make about trees or I like the fact that we have to read maps to find your way around. Um, I enjoy that. So it, it rewards you if you're a good map reader. It rewards you if you're a writer that pays attention to what things look like and where you are. There's what? 15, 18 rides, sometimes a dozen. You know, it just varies year to year um, what people's schedules are, how available those state parks are, um, and who feels like doing the ride manager job because it does entail extra time. I mean, you have to come and ride. Sometimes ride setup rides will take three to four hours, um, where the actual ride itself is maybe less than two hours. So. Um, <clears throat> It's, it requires extra time. Well, the ride manager's job can be a lot of fun, but it can be a little bit stressful. You set up a ride where if anybody's going to show up, if they can find everything. You're always excited when the first team comes in that who found all ten plates, because then you know it's okay. Sure. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's a good time. It's more fun, I think, to be a competitor than a ride manager. But we need ride managers to have competitions, so there you go. And how long does it take to prepare a ride? Uh, well, I think those ride managers that have been doing it longer can do it a lot quicker than I can. But um, Carol and I always start a couple weeks out, set a couple plates in multiple trips. But there are some people that can go out and set ten plates in a day. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what my horse thinks of CMO. <laughs> Kathy, I mean, Kathy and John Haas Tom and Hobel. Roxy and Celia came to our first ride that we put on in the spring Tom of 92. Hobel. And Tom Hobel. Yeah. And um, we did that at Kank River. Glad these dogs on Facebook are really and long. it was raining and cold and miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave and I were real worried. You know, here we're, we're showing these people how to use a compass and we're sending them off into the wild blue yonder and, you know, maybe they're having an awful time. So Dave jumps in the car and he drives out to where some of the plates were and he comes back with a big grin on his face. He says, I think they're going to be all right. He says, they're already lying to each other. <laughs> And so they, they did. They had a good time. Roxy tells me that when they got as far from camp as they could, their their friend Tom Hogel said, "I've got dry underwear." And by then they were all soaked. And so Roxy and Celia were ready to sh were ready to strangle him. And he said, "Of course, it's back in my trailer." <laughs> so that was that was the beginning, and um, of the chapter here. And it's grown to be, I think, the most active chapter, and we've had national championships in both the individual and the team categories, pretty much all of them in the last five years. Most, most every year we've had the, the national champion, and we've had the male and female individual champion once. Just kind of cool. Uh, Mike and Lisa got us involved. We were members of uh, Search and Rescue, um, Henry County Search and Rescue. We met them, and they got us involved in this sport, and just love it. It takes a special person, it seems like. You know, you've got to be a little intuitive. You've got to be uh, enjoy the challenge, really. Uh, not everybody does. They, they don't see the point of it, but. Uh. <laughs> and I have all sorts of tools with me in my car for. We've been doing it together for 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I met him doing, yeah, well, we, I met him at the banquet. Right. 
up and Bruce brought us together. The, the sport is what brought us together. The hardest ride I've had is Sand Ridge. Sand Ridge, yeah. Big Sandy. Big, big, sandy. big yeah. sandy on the, the Mississippi River. River. That's a tough yeah. one. That's yeah, tough and one. a lot of that, it wasn't so much the markers, it was the sand. Sand. It was pretty yeah. deep sand. Oh, really? On the horses. Yeah. And, and long. We, yeah, and we got, we, we did have trouble on, a, on one or two of the markers, and that made it a long ride. Mm -hmm. Hot. <laughs> and then the time <laughs> you get when frustrated. My, then the time when I got dumped in. And, uh, yep. and the horses were gone for three hours. That was tough. So. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to edit that out. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> started through friends of ours, um, Mike and Lisa, uh, and invited us to try CMO. They told us about this great sport. And we tried it once, and we're like, okay, this is kind of cool. We did it again, and that's all it took. We were hooked, and we being my husband and my, my two little boys. So um, it's been a family adventure ever since we're coming to enjoy this particular park a lot, um, Jubilee College. State Park just northwest of Peoria, Illinois. I also love uh, Salamone out in Indiana. I can't give you landmarks as to where it is, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, as we've been traveling around to different parks throughout participating in the sport, we've just really seen some absolutely gorgeous places that we wouldn't have known existed had we not been part of CMO. So that's pretty darn cool. The map that you're all holding is this full one. It looks like this. At each intersection is a trail marker with a colored square. Okay, Denise has got some of the nitty gritty details. Um, there are long axes out there today, so be mindful of that. They're just long reading. If you can find these plates after dark, more power to you. <laughs> they're that they're that well hidden. Is that a challenge? No, yes, no, no, it is not. <laughs> so we'll pause there. Does anybody have any questions and answers since we've got yes, more where riders? Is the campsite on the fall map. Where the P. Right. Where the X is. Is 90 degrees from the main trail map to the marker. For me, 90 degrees goes straight over the corner of the stop it, I'm here. Straight over the corner of the uh, mounting ramp there. And and here, right on the line for the 90 degrees, is the plate right there. So I'm presuming that oh, there it is. All right, we're good to go. Yep. All right, Rox, we're on the map, honey. All right. Are we right. doing five or ten? All right, we're going to ride up to Tippy Canal and ten? see what we can okay. find up there. Oh my God! <laughs> one mile by one well, that's what I said to her. Geez, the people. Um, well, the horses, the people. You know, <laughs> um, but the people. Um, everybody's so friendly, and you know, once you're in CMO, it's like everybody becomes kind of an honorary fa family member. You know, there's not um, high drama, crazy competition where you have to dress a certain way or, you know, like oh, maybe funny. in the show world, which I know nothing about, but um, it's just laid back and total fun. What? Oh, my, my part, favorite part is hanging with the, all the people. 
If I didn't even ride, I wouldn't care. I, I just, this is this, this is what, I, I ride so that I can come and be a, participate, but really I just, these are some of my best friends. Is this fun? And riding in the mornings with my good <laughs> best friend. I love them. It was a great day today. The campfires. Campfires, the people. Yeah. This That's time why of we're year, here. This is our, this yeah. is our second family. Yeah, this and time this of year, is, um, riding is just oh, yeah, weather yeah, it's just and no bugs and heavenly um, out here. Just yeah. and again, to, to see all the different parks every yeah. year yeah. is why we enjoy the sport. And obviously, we love horses and love riding, and it just all comes together as a yeah. great package and, and of like people said, and horses and the, and this, and this the camping is, fun and. So that's and the food. <laughs> the potluck is always good on Saturday night, so why we started the sport down here was to find the kind of people that we enjoyed being with and the sport tends to weed out and tends to concentrate people who can handle a little frustration who enjoy being with each other who like enjoying their horses and they're the kind of folks that you want to know and we've moved a number of times and when you're when your kids are young you make friends with the parents of your kids friends but when your kids grow up and leave you got to go out and make your own friends. And this sport is the most wonderful way to make the kind of friends that are keepers. And these folks that do this sport are keepers. 